welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video in this video i'll be predicting the middleweight bout between sam alvey versus julian marquez so yeah alvey's returning back to middleweight after a relatively unsuccessful stint at light heavyweight now he's returning back to middleweight hoping for i guess some more success and maybe see something but really this is a good matchup for him he has a good chance it's probably really one of the better matchups for him as far as a potential chance for him to win unless a better matchup would be a guy that's not the greatest wrestler and that's all they can do or a grappler and that's not the that's all they can do and they're not even the best at really getting the fight to the ground and sam alvey has solid takedown defense and he would be at his stuff takedown and knock him out on the feet and be like i don't know something about pulling crabs and like keeping crabs in the basket or something or throwing a grenade into a basket and fishing that way i don't know where i'm trying to go with this but it'd be easy stylistic matchup for him but the reason why this one's a better matchup for him is the fact that Julian Marquez isn't really the most technical fighter, and he a lot of times he's not a guy that you really see necessarily game planning out there too much, or like no heavy game planner. And a lot of times he will embrace, you know, embrace bite down. He's a fighter that will a lot of times bite down on the mouthpiece and swing, and not really in the most technical way. And that gives Sam Alvey a fighter who's not the most technical fighter himself, but tries to be a counter puncher. Got a pretty decent sturdy chin, surprisingly fast hands on the counter. I would think he's a more cleaner technical fighter in here and can find opens to opportunities to crack Marquez and off his aggressiveness off, or no, also off of his aggressiveness off his pressure and off his activity and be able to counter him but I'm gonna go with this one is I just, you can't really trust Sam Alvey he, he, he's never um, historically been a fighter you can trust and now been a three fight losing streak even though this is a stylist the matchup that gives him chances it don't really give him too many chances. Like, he has a good counter chances, but I think Marquez has a pretty solid chin. We haven't seen him stop. We might have seen him, like, maybe hurt one or two times, but we haven't really seen him, like, significantly rock or significantly drop as far as in the UFC. The younger, fresher fighter. Faster. Been at the middleweight and, um, for a good little minute now, but what I see is that I think really comes down to pace and pressure and who's going to be pacing, who's going to be pressuring, Marquez is going to fight at a higher pace, has historically fought at a higher pace, has historically been a pressure fighter, whereas Sam Alvey, for that reason, chose to be a counter pressure. So he's going to be the one really enforcing the action most of the time, unless he gets rocked, which is a possibility. But outside of that, Sam Alvey is going to allow him to lead the dance, being the counter fighter. He's going to allow him to lead the dance. He's going to push forward. He's going to be more active. He's going to try to force his will. When he gets takedowns or anything like that, I think not, because Sam Alvey has came from a wrestling gym. We know with the Dan Henderson, et cetera, et cetera, probably Matt Lindley and other people. So his wrestling defense is phenomenal. So getting him down and holding him down is a hard thing to do. So don't really see anybody really have success with that unless they hurt him. But it's going to come down to more so a striking matchup, maybe even a clinch-up matchup at times, smashing and running into, crashing into each other, and then trying to get the K, I mean, get some control in, in the clinch. Maybe not that because, like I said, this, uh, Mark has not really a guy that likes the game plan. He's got to go out there and just really try to crack on you. But it's going to come down to the fact that can't trust Sam Alvey and the fact that Marquez is going to be throwing more shots, be the pressuring fighter, looking for those heavy shots, and probably landing heavy shots. It's not like Sam Alvey has amazing defense either. So he'll be landing, throwing heavy shots, landing heavy shots at a pretty good clip and be out landing Alvey, out working Alvey, being his face. Alvey might have his moments here and there. will definitely have his chances stylistically in this one and even opportunistically in this one in actual fight and not just on paper. But it's going to be a case of Marquez just going to be more aggressive. This might has better a real good chance to be fighting tonight. And I see Marquez getting his hand raised, just simply being a more aggressive fight. I don't think he really stops Alvey in this one. Probably maybe get a drop or two in there. Maybe Alvey even gets a drop in there, but fun, exciting fight. But Marquez just being a more active fighter, but more aggressive fighter, the pressuring fighter, outlanding and outworking Alvey in a fun slugfest. So in this one, I have Julian Marquez via decision.